Hello everyone, welcome you all to the Indus Business School. I am honored and privileged to introduce you to today's guest. Today we have with us Mr. Christopher Marsh, Senior Purchasing Manager, Jaguar Land Rover India. Welcome to the institute. Thank you. Hi. So, uh, how was your interaction with the students? You just had an interaction with them. Yeah, it, it was fabulous. Thank you. Um, it's the first time I've, I've, I've experienced anything such as that, and um, the uh, the environment was very welcoming. Uh, the students were very engaging and disciplined, and, and that was a tentative, which was um, it made me feel really uh, assured. So, thank you very much. Um, and towards the end, um, it was an opportunity to ask several questions. Uh, and I appreciate the questions that are asked. Thank you. What do you want that the students should prepare for their job market? Like how they should prepare for the job market? What do you want to suggest to them? Um, it's a good question. So first of all uh, is, is a CV and to ensure the CV is up to date and it stands out. Um, but apart from the CV, the CV should be accommodated with a, a mentor or a coach. Um, in addition to that, uh, another key aspect is having a growth plan student needs to understand which journey they're going on uh, and which direction they're going um, and so sitting down with a coach understanding their CV their growth plan will put them in the best possible situation when they're going forward for interviews okay so like uh, being in Jaguar Land Rover India what are the challenges you face like what you want to tell to them that they should learn from your experience there's many, many challenges currently uh, in the automotive sector. Um, supply chain challenges, um, geopolitical challenges uh, with what's happening in Europe and so forth. From a, a job perspective, is I think the key things around um, discipline, uh, integrity uh, and hard work. Um, the harder you work when you're younger, the easier it is when you're older. And you know, I'm a firm believer in that philosophy. Apart from academics, what skills do you think that it, it is required to be in a corporate world? Communication skills is essential. Being able to articulate yourself really clearly, understand, the, uh, understand what it is you're trying to say and making sure that comes across really clearly. Uh, communication is probably the most single biggest um, key area and key skill um, to, to have a successful career. Um, Second to that, problem solving abilities, um, depending on the nature of your field. Uh, and last of all, I would say work ethic. Having the correct work ethic is essential um, in the business place in order to do well. You have to approach the business with the right attitude, the right positive mental attitude. And having a strong work ethic or is the backbone of having a successful career. Right, and you feel that the networking also plays a very important role in it? Uh, absolutely, um, both networking in the office and outside the office. Uh, it's an interesting point because networking in today's world has grown on a digital platform. So if you talk about LinkedIn, for example, it's important to have an online profile. Some people are better at it than others. Uh, I personally am not a fan of uh, social media. Uh, but my mentor and my coach insists on ensuring you've got an online profile because that's where recruiters go to automatically. Whether that online profile is Instagram or uh, Twitter, again accounts that I don't have, but specifically LinkedIn is a more professional um, account so ensure that your LinkedIn is up to date and arguably you could network uh, over that interface. Um, but for me what I get most out of it is networking, you know, on a social level. The keys in the phrase social, social media. You know, I'm quite a sociable person, and if I want to network with somebody, um, you know, taking those coffee breaks with somebody, um, maybe uh, ensuring you allocate some time to have a working lunch together, or a dedicated slot to have um, just a catch up, really. Um, and you can't get that when you're not in the office environment. We call it either corridor meetings. Quite often you might bump into an executive director in the corridor and you could have you know, a, an elevator pitch. And the elevator pitch is you've got 30 seconds to you know, come across with your new great big idea. 
pitch it to the senior executive who will, will either welcome you for a coffee or he might say, actually Chris, uh, come back next week. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. It was lovely interacting with you.